Tony is a generous guy. He likes sharing his inventions with others. Sometimes he's even a little too generous. That's why we have a huge list of people who have borrowed the Iron Man suit. And these are just the 10 we thought were the best, but there was a plethora of others that we couldn't include on this list. Anyways, enough talking. Here are the 10 characters who wore Iron Man suits. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10. Deadpool Oh boy, we weren't expecting this. We just found out that Deadpool had a crossover with Iron Man, where he caused a ton of chaos when he stole the Iron Man suit and pretty much destroyed everything in his path. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Back in 2013, the Deadpool number 7 issue, Demon in a Bottle, we got to see Deadpool drinking like crazy while wearing Iron Man suit. Namely, he was supposed to keep the deal he struck with a demon named Vetus, but did he? You already know the answer to that. When he went to push Tony back into alcoholism, something clicked. Deadpool actually helped Tony to sober up. He threw away the liquor and helped him get up. What a nice guy. Not so fast. We didn't tell you that he smacked him over the head with those empty bottles, stole his Iron Man suit, and went around the town screaming, here comes the Armored Avengers most intoxicating adventures. A lot of alcohol was involved in this process. Like, a lot. Number 9. Steve Rogers Three, two. One. Now, the reason we put this pick so far up the list is because it's more wishful thinking than real-life Marvel scenario. This is because Steve Rogers became Iron Man in the comic book series titled Bullet Points. And we all know these are just alternate universe scenarios that are fun to think about. Now, in this comic book, Steve Rogers doesn't get to become a super soldier. Instead, the government uses him to fight the Nazis in a suit of armor. All of this happened on Earth 7105, and get this, Peter Parker managed to kill him. Now, on Earth 7105, Peter isn't Spider-Man, he's actually the Hulk. So he smashed him into a million pieces. If you keep on watching, we will reveal which supervillain actually managed to take away Tony's suit and use it for evil. Number 8. Hal Stark They called him the Iron Lantern, and this one is similar to Steve Rogers' imaginary scenario. You see, Hal Stark was also a billionaire engineer that loved to smash that like button just like you should if you haven't already. But no, what he really loved was to tinker with spacecraft. During one flight, he found that the flight simulator was being drawn to a wrecked alien spaceship. While trying to land, he crashed the aircraft and got badly injured. Mustering up the force to get up and build a suit of armor from the scrap metal he found on board the spaceship proved to be worth his while as it saved his life. And he used OA, the living planet, to power his suit and body. That didn't rip off Green Lantern at all. Number 7. Norman Osborn More commonly referred to as the Green Goblin, Norman managed to manufacture a suit just like the one Tony Stark had, and he called it Iron Patriot Armor. That's a cross between Captain America and Iron Man. In fact, this was the primary motivation for creating the suit of armor. After the Skull Invasion, the Green Goblin decided to form his own team of Avengers. After stealing some of the blueprints from the Iron Man suit, Norman made his own suit but Tony immediately shut it down by hacking into its control panel during the Siege of Asgard. Number 6. Doctor Doom We've officially seen it all, folks. Doctor Victor Doom actually became Iron Man. The storyline appeared in a 2016 comic book series that was titled Infamous Iron Man. The series had a total of 12 issues and it featured Victor assuming the role of Tony Stark after the unfolding of events in the Civil War II fiasco. 
He is mainly pinned down against the thing in this series, but he battles other supervillains as well, and one of his main opponents is Shield. Number 5. Natasha Stark If it was the other way around, and it was down to me to save your life, can you be honest with me? The only reason this civil war never happened is because Tony Stark fell in love with Steve Rogers. Let us explain. Natasha isn't Tony's daughter that Steve married. It was actually Tony Stark himself, born in a woman's body. Everything else remained the same. The only thing that was different was the sex of the billionaire. Steve actually fell hard for Natasha in the 2009 edition of Dark Rate, Fantastic Four number 2. After their love affair, these two wound up, are you ready for this, marrying each other. That's right, make love, not war had never been more true. Oh, and if you want to know the most popular people that appeared in the Iron Man suit, then keep on watching because the last three will actually put a smile on your face. Number 4. Mary Jane Watson Where'd that come from? It's nanotech, you like it? If you're a fan of the comics, then there's no way you missed the issues where Mary Jane had numerous interactions with Tony Stark. But the first time she wore the Iron Man suit was when she helped Peter Parker defeat Morlin. Let us explain. You see, Mary Jane was living in NYC, but she got kind of tired of the fact that her city kept being demolished every few years. That's why she moved to Chicago and opened a nightclub. One thing led to another and Tony Stark actually wrecked her nightclub. How did he say sorry? By offering her a top position at Stark Industries, where she helped develop the Iron Spider Armor, and she even used Tony's Iron Man Armor. Number 3. Bruce Banner Okay, this one isn't actually the Iron Man suit. It's more like a cross between Tony Stark's suit and the Hulk. That's why we call it the Hulk Blaster. And with a name like that, we thought this would only be used to beat the crap out of the Hulk anytime he got a little too angry and went on a destructive mass spree. However, in Avengers Infinity War, Hulk became a little wuss. That was after he got his ass kicked by Thanos himself. Because he couldn't participate in any of the fights, Tony gave him the Hulk Blaster in the last Wakanda fight, right before Thanos snapped his fingers. But don't think he was a natural with it. Oh no, Bruce was clumsy. He was uncoordinated and Thanos' army almost destroyed the expensive suit, had it not been for Thor. Number 2. James Rhodes I got something special for this guy. I'm gonna bust his bunker with the ex-wife. The what? At first, he used the Iron Man suit to beat Tony's ass. But then he turned the other cheek and actually wound up helping him defeat the enemies. That's why James Rhodes was one of the expected picks on this list. However, we all know this wasn't the same Iron Man suit that Tony used. It was built specifically for him and it was a metallic color, unlike Tony's iconic red and gold. All of these tweaks and adjustments were done with Tony's help. And not only did he get to use it sometimes, he outright owned a bespoke version of the most powerful suits in the universe. He even used it in Endgame against Thanos. We'd say money well spent. Number 1. Pepper Potts I got you. I got you first. To be honest, we didn't really want Pepper Potts to have to use the suit. Why? Because she used it during the bombing of Stark's Malibu mansion. Of course, this is because he gave out his address on live TV, and basically, in a matter of seconds, the Mandarin launched a helicopter bombing on the Armored Avenger. To save Pepper Potts and prevent her from getting hurt, Tony launched his new Iron Man suit and ordered Jarvis to wrap around Pepper's body and save her. Potts survived, and Tony managed to get away relatively unscathed. As soon as Potts was safe and secure, Tony called back the Iron Man suit and wreaked all sorts of havoc on these a-holes. Oh, Furious doesn't even begin to describe the state Tony was in. One by one, the helicopters fell, and yes, they took down the mansion with them. On a related note, could any of these characters rock the Iron Man suit better than Tony? You can tell us in the comments section below. 
If you like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.